Good day class. Today we will continue our discussion and now we have the third type of variation which is the joint variation. When we say joint variation, it is a variation where a variable varies directly as the product of two or more variables. And as a clue, whenever you encounter a problem, we have the statement y varies jointly as x and z. Means, we have this equation, y is equal to kxz, where k is the constant of variation. This one will be the equation for the joint variation. And when we derive this formula, we will come up in getting the equation for the constant of variation, which is k is equal to y all over xz. Let us proceed with the following examples. First one, translate each statement into an equation. Use k for the constant of variation. Number one, a varies jointly with b and the square of c. So our equation for number one will be a varies jointly we have k as our constant of variation and then b and the square of c. For number 1, we have the equation a varies jointly with b and the square of c. Number 2, m varies jointly as n and the square root of p. What do you think is the answer? Very good. So we have M varies jointly, of course. We have your K there as your constant of variation as N and the square root of P. This is the equation for number two. Number three, the electrical voltage V varies jointly as the current I and the resistance R. What do you think is our equation for number three? Very good. We have V is equal to K I R. Voltage varies jointly as your current and resistance. Very good. Number four. The volume of the cylinder varies jointly as the square of its radius and its height. We have the equation V varies jointly. We have here our K varies jointly as the square of the radius. So we will get the square of the radius and its height, which is represented by the variable h. V is equal to k r squared h. Volume varies jointly as the square of the radius and its height. Number five. W varies jointly as x y and z so we have the product of two or more variables w for our left side of the equation varies jointly with x y and z always remember the definition of joint variation product of two or more variables and we have the equation y is equal to k times the product of your x and z. Number six. 
Going back with our example, let's answer number 6. D varies jointly as E and F. If D is equal to 1.2, when E is equal to 0 0.3, and F is equal to 0 0.4, find the constant of variation. In problem number 6, we need to compute for the value of our K. Before that, let us write first for the equation. Given the following, we have D. is equal to the variation of E and F. Now, substitute for the value of D, which is 1.2. K will remain here. Substitute for the value of your E, which is 0 0.3. And of course, your F, which is 0 0.4. Let's solve. 1.2 is equal to 0 0.3 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.12. So we have 0 0.12. And to eliminate 0 0.12 on the right side of the equation so that k variable will only remain, we will divide both sides by 0 0.12. So this one will be cancelled out. Then perform the calculation. 1.2 divided by 0 0.12 will give us 10. 10 is now our K, which is the constant of variation. Next, let's proceed with Number six, given that y varies jointly as x squared and z, find the constant of variation when y is equal to 225, x is equal to 3, and z is equal to 4. First, analyze the problem and write the equation. We have y is equal to, so it varies jointly as x squared, x squared and z. So this is our equation. The next thing that we need to do is to substitute for the value of y, which is 225. Value of your x, which is 3. And of course, substitute for the value of your z, which is 4. 225 is equal to k. And then your x is 3 squared. Do not forget. And of course, your z, which is 4. Now, let's compute. 225 is equal to k. 3 squared is 9 times 4. Next, 225 is equal to k. 9 times 4 is 36. Or it can also be 36k or k36. No problem. Divide both sides by 36. So that K will only remain on the right side of our equation. So 225 divided by 36, it will give us 25 over 4. This is the simplified value of 225 divided by 36. You can write the decimal value which is 6.25 or the value of the fraction, which is 25 over 4. That is the answer for problem number 6. Next, number 7. If Q 
is jointly proportional to R and S and Q is equal to 6 when R is equal to 3 and S is equal to 4. Find Q when R is equal to 7 and S is equal to 2. Again, the first thing that we need to do is very good. We need to write the equation given the following. We have on the left side Q based on the problem equals the constant of variation which is K jointly proportional to R and S. So we have, we have the product of R and S. We have already the equation for number 7. The next step that we need to do is to substitute for the value of our Q, which is 6, R, which is 3, and S, which is 4. For us to compute the value of our constant of variation, we have 6 is equal to K, your R is 3, and then your S is 4. 6 is equal to K. 3 times 4 is 12. Divide both sides by 12. 6 divided by 12, we have, need to simplify it, 1 half. Our constant of variation is 1 half. After we got this answer, let us now find Q when R is equal to 7 and S is equal to 2. Using the formula, Q is equal to KRS or Q is jointly proportional to your R and S. Let us substitute for the following. K which is 1 half, 7 for R and then 2 for S. One half times seven times two. Let us perform the calculation. Seven times two is fourteen. So it's like fourteen divided by two. Fourteen times one is fourteen divided by two. Our Q is equal to seven. We have the following values for K, which is 1 half, and we use the value to get the value of Q, which is 7, given 7 as our R and 2 as our S. Next example. Number 8. X varies jointly as W, Y, and Z. If X is equal to 18, when W is equal to 2, Y is equal to 6, and Z is equal to 5, find X when W is equal to 5, Y is equal to 12, and Z is equal to 3. We have three variables here based from our problem. Let us write for the equation. We have x varies jointly as w, y, and z. This is our equation. The next step that we need to do is to substitute for the values of x, which is 18. W, which is 2, Y, which is 6, and then Z, which is 5, here in our equation. 18 is equal to K, your W is 2, your Y is 6, and then your Z is 5. Simplify, 18 is equal to 2 times 6. 12 times 5, that is 60. 
60k or k60 no problem divide both sides by 60 then simplify 18 divided by 60 it will give us 3 over 10 as the value of our constant of variation since we are done computing for the k we can now find x when we have the following values of w which is 5 y which is 12 and then z which is 3 let me copy the formula x is equal to k w y and z our k is 3 over 10 your w is 5 your y is 12 and then your z is 3 so let's compute 5 times 12 that is 60 times 3 that is 180 times 3 over 10 that is 54 that's why our x value here given the following values of k which is 3 over 10 w which is 5 y which is 12 and then z which is 3 we have our x is equal to 54. okay last but not the least example we uh we have this problem the area of a triangle varies jointly as the base and the height a triangle with a base of 8 cm and a height of 9 cm has an area of 36 square cm. We need to find the area when the base is 10 cm and the height is 7 cm. So what do you think is our equation based on the given problem? Very good, we have A which stands for area equals of course your k as your constant of variable varies jointly as the base b and the height which is h this is our equation for the pro for the ninth problem and in order for us to solve for the value of k we will substitute for the values of a which is 36 equals and then your k substitute your b value which is 8 and of course substitute your height given 9 let's compute 36 is equal to k 8 times 9 is 72 divide both sides by 72 so our k here is 36 divided by 72 that will give us one half one half is the value of our constant of variation we still need to find the area when the base is 10 centimeter and height is 7 centimeter we will still use this equation a is equal to k b h just substitute for your k which is one half substitute for your base which is 10 and substitute for your h which is 7 perform the calculation 10 times 7 is 70 times 1 half that will give us 35 do not forget to write the unit square centimeter this is our answer
I hope you learned something for today, class. Thank you and God bless.